New at five, it is the season for slathering on sunscreen. And while it's important to protect your skin all year long, you're more prone to sunburn in the summer when we head out to the pools and the beaches. 12 on your slides, Marilyn Moore shows us which sunscreens get the top test scores. A painful sunburn is no day at the beach, so Consumer Reports put sunscreens to the test. To check SPF, they applied dozens of lotions and sprays. After a tub soak and exposure to simulated sunlight, experts checked for redness. The lotion getting top scores? Equate Sport Lotion SPF 50 from Walmart. It won't burn your budget either. The spray that came out on top? Hawaiian Tropic Sport with SPF 30. When it comes to applying sunscreen, one common mistake is not using enough. The right way to apply a lotion sunscreen is to use a teaspoon per body part that's not covered by clothing. Sprays can be convenient, but tricky. It's harder to tell if you're covered. When you use a spray, you want to hold the can four to six inches away from your skin and spray until your skin glistens. Then rub it in to make sure you get even coverage and repeat again just to be safe. Never spray your face. Instead, spray into your hands and rub it onto your face. And be careful using spray on children because they're more likely to inhale the mist. All of CR's top rated sunscreens contain chemical active ingredients. But if you prefer a mineral or natural sunscreen, their tests found California Kids Super Sensitive Tinted Lotion, SPF 30 Plus, provided adequate protection. When choosing, look for the words broad spectrum. That means it also protects against UVA rays. Those are the ones that can lead to cancer and wrinkles. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends an SPF of at least 30. Doctors also say the best sunscreen is the one you actually use. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.